Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my foundation and contour routine. I really hope you enjoy it. Now let's jump right in. First, I'm going to start off with a clean face. I'm going to moisturize with Cetaphil. This is one of my favorite moisturizers and I'm just going to massage that into my skin. Once I'm done, I will be priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I will be massaging that into my face. This is going to make your makeup last all day. For foundation, I will be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This stuff is amazing. A little pricey for drugstore, but I think it's worth it. This stuff is long wearing and it doesn't break me out, which is amazing. I make sure to blend down my neck and into my hairline so we don't look like we're wearing a mask. I'm using the Coastal Scents Powder Brush to buff this into my skin. Next, I will be covering my dark spots using the LA Girl Concealer. Not my favorite concealer, but I wanted to use it up, so I'm using it to spot correct. Now I will be concealing with my Ride or Die. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I am obsessed with it. I will be concealing under my eyes and highlighting my forehead and down the bridge of my nose with this. I blend it in with my Beauty Blender. I use mine dry. That's just how I prefer it. It just works better. I feel like when I wet the Beauty Blender, it's too damp. So I like using it dry. It works for me. I prefer it that way. Now I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. This is in the tan dark version and I will be using the highlight shade to highlight underneath my eyes as well as set my T-zone. Next, I will be taking the MAC Skin Finish in Natural. I'm using dark and dark deep. I'm mixing them together and I'm going to use this to warm up the face. I'm going to be using this in the normal C formation you would apply bronzer. I'm going to be using it on my forehead. I'm going to be using it in the hollows of my cheek as well as my jawline. I just love how this powder makes my face look. It just gives me a nice glow from within. Next, I will be taking the two darkest shades in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I will be contouring my face 
further, I will be using this to carve out my cheeks, forehead, and jawline again. This is just going to give your face more depth and using multiple shades in products is going to give you a nice gradient effect so it doesn't look like you just slapped on some contour. It's going to make it look nice and blended. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. concealer brush, which I find to be multi-purpose, and I'm going to be using the darkest shade in the palette, and I'm going to be carving out my cheekbones. I find this gives my cheeks a nice hollowed out effect. Again, we want that gradient so it doesn't look too harsh and everything looks nice and blended. Next we are going to sharpen our contour by using that same highlight shade we used to set underneath our eyes. This is just going to carve out that cheekbone and really make that a crisp line. So as you can see, it's going to really define the cheek and make that cheekbone really pop out. Once that is all finished, we are going to be moving on to blush. I use two blushes. I use Pinch Me by MAC, which is a matte blush, and I use Peach Twist, which is a shimmer blush. I put Pinch Me down first, and then I put Peach Twist on top, and this just makes my cheekbone really pop. I'm obsessed with these two mixed together. Now on to highlight, I'm going to be using the Betty Luminizer. I'm going to be placing that on the high points of my cheeks. This is just going to make your cheekbones look higher and nice and highlighted. And as you can see, look at that glow. Can I be normal for five seconds? <laughs> Once my brows are finished, we have the final look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like my foundation and contour routine. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. If you wanna keep up with me between videos, follow me on Instagram, Ashley Bond Beauty, or Twitter, Ashley Bond 21, or both. If you have any video requests, let me know down below. And again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys.